the lightning cable. This has been around since the iPhone 5, and it was actually pretty good upon release. Fast forward about 10 years now, and it's pretty much the worst cable you can use. It's slow, it has many limitations, and most people don't even know why Apple kept it. So why did they? First, let's start with the limitations. So the first thing is transfer speed. Transfer speed is how far and fast something can get from the phone to a computer or vice versa. The lightning cable has a transfer speed of 480 megabits, which isn't terrible, but when you think about it, USB-C at 10 gigabits? Gigabits, we're comparing gigabits to meta megabits. Like, that is insane. USB-C is pretty much 10 times faster and probably more, even though I can't do math. So I will put up on screen what the actual transfer speed of USB is and how fast, much faster it is. But now also we can need to think of charging because obviously any device that has a lightning cable you need to use for charging. Well, lightning has a charging speed of about 20 to 30 watts, which isn't terrible. You know, 20 to 30 watts, iPhone full in maybe two hours, an hour and a half. It's not terrible, but when you see USB-C, there are phones that support USB-C up to 200 watts. 200! That is crazy, 200 watts. I'll link a link in the description of Mr. Zaboss reviewed that phone, but that is crazy. That has the ability to charge from one to 115 minutes. Mind you, it's still taking so much power that you're definitely paying more also in your power bill. But again, 200 watts, one to 115 minutes, that's crazy. But now that we all know what the limitations are, why did Apple keep it? Why did Apple keep using this cable that was obviously far worse than USB-C? Well, there are two things. One is convenience. Anyone with an iPhone, anyone with AirPods, anyone with an iPad, anyone with, not an Apple Watch, but anyone with those devices already uses Lightning. So if they switch to USB-C, there are going to be a lot of people who are going, oh, that sucks. I seriously need another cable now? Another cable? Also, I seen this firsthand. When my mom got new AirPods, she thought that the AirPods had to plug in with USB-C and she was like, oh, seriously, another cable? We really need another cable. But I mean, that makes sense. But if you have one cable for everything, which is the whole point of USB-C, that's exactly what everyone wants one cable so you can plug in your laptop phone ipad anything and ipads have switched over to USB-C, but the iphone is still stuck on it and hopefully the iphone 15 will change that i'll link leave a link above to a video i made on that so check that out after this one but another reason that they kept it is they're apple they want to make as much profit as they possibly can they love taking money out of everyone's pockets and we all know that we all know that they love money which, yeah, Tim Cook, the evil guy. But anyway, they have to charge money for every lightning cable that anyone buys. They have to buy it from Apple, which obviously, even though it's like $1, that's still enough. If someone buys 3000 to sell, Apple's making $3,000. That's a good profit. That's like a fully maxed out M1 iMac or... I don't know how much an MRI is. I'll put on screen something that's about that much. But now we have to talk about what's next. Like, why is USB-C so much better? I already talked about transfer speed, but it's also just USB-C is a little more repairable and it can definitely work in more devices. See, the iPhone hasn't had USB-C, but Apple was like the first computer manufacturers to introduce it and they went all in on USB-C with the 2016 MacBook Pros. It had only USB-C and a headphone jack, which RIP on the iPhone, but anyway, wait, that was the year that they got rid of it with the seven. Anyway, they went all USB-C. But I, something I've been wondering lately is why did they go all USB-C on the MacBook, but then Lightning on the iPhone? I've already discussed why they kept Lightning because it was, in their mind, a better cable since it meant they're more money but like seriously a company has to do what's good for their company but also what's good for their customers 
if you see a phone company suddenly coming out with glass that cracks in five seconds, that's not a good company. You don't want to support that company, but you're going to want to support other things of that company. So I think Apple realized that people want an iPhone enough to look beside Lightning. But USB-C is just better. You can use it on pretty much anything. Drones, phones, that runs. Drones, phones, computers. You can use it on headphones, probably. You can, you can literally use it probably on cars in the future if the EU gets their way. But speaking of the EU, I think we should go to why Apple might actually be switching to USB-C, which we all would really love. That means faster times to get anything from an iPhone to a, a computer. So the EU has started a legislature saying every smartphone company must put USB-C their phone if they have a port by 2024. And it is 2023. It's I'm recording this on February 25th, 2023, and hopefully this will go up 26th. But anyway, legislature means that Apple needs to put USB-C on the iPhone. It means that they could not sell it in the European Union and anywhere in Europe, anywhere in Europe. If they're not able to sell the iPhone in Europe, that's like half of their profit margin down the drain. Like, I feel like the most popular iPhone is obviously most popular in the US, then Europe, then probably like South Africa, and then a little bit of sprinkled all around the rest of the world, even though Android mostly is the company for over there. That's not a company, it's Google. But anyway, the EU has made this legislator and Apple can't get around it. They even said in an interview, we will comply. Obviously we'll have to comply. But here's the thing. A lot of people have been toying around with the idea that Apple might instead just not put a port on the iPhone. Just give it USB-C and you can use Bluetooth to get things from different places. I mean, AirDrop works pretty well and that would funnel other people in the Apple ecosystem. If to get things from their phone to their computer you need AirDrop, then maybe they would go out and buy a Mac so they can get things from their phone to computer. But honestly, I don't think that's a good solution because wireless charging degrades your battery much faster than wired charging. That's the reason I use wired charging. It's also faster. Um, but anyway, that's crazy. And also with getting things to your computer, I have a situation with that. I film these videos for you guys and I hope you guys like them. And if you do, a sub would be amazing. But anyway, I need to get large video files from my phone, large 4K files onto my computer. I use a USB-C to lightning cable because Bluetooth will take too much longer. And it's just easier to do it that way. And it loads up in the Photos app and I export it, yada, yada. But it takes a while. Like, it can take up to 10 minutes to get these video files across. That's a lot of time where I could be editing. I could be editing these videos and try and get them out quicker for you guys. Also, if you guys do like the more quicker but more engaging videos, uh, leave a like down below because that's what I'm trying to get so that you guys don't get bored. But anyway, what do you guys think? Would you like USB-C in the iPhone? Do you think that would be a good and a big advantage to the iPhone? Or do you think that would be meh, not amazing? Like, I mean, they could do it, but it wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be the best. But honestly, I think it would be good. I think it's time for a change. It's, it's been 10 years since they added Lightning instead of USB-C on the iPhone 5S. In 2012. Actually, it's been 11 years. I can't count. But anyway, the iPhone 5 was the first phone to support Lightning and it was a good cable back then. But it's not a good cable anymore. So if Apple gives us USB-C in the iPhone, I feel like the iPhone, when that comes, will be the seller by the millions. Because I feel like that is what a ton of people are waiting for, just to switch to iPhone. Uh, scroll down in the comments and tell me what you think, if you use wireless charging. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Sm scroll down, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.